Hey guys, Mark Sengen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so today we are going to jump in and do the Dokkan Ultimate Thrilling Battle Stage 2 which came out with all the new content starting with Part 2. Just like Part 1, this is one stage but there are a whole bunch of missions for using certain number of units of different categories. Some it's only three, some it's four teams, some is like the, you know, use an extreme AGL tech in physical str all that stuff um, we went through all of these earlier on the stream today so shout out to anyone who was there i've put them all together here in this video and um, you can see the teams that i use obviously you can mix it up like we do a lot of the ones where there are certain ones you can do all in one go like for example using fusion characters who are also super saiyan 3 will get you the three fusion and three super saiyan 3 one done at the same time so we do a bunch of them here they're all going to be in the video um obviously let me know what you guys think down below if there's any that you're struggling with that you need ideas for teams do let us know in the comments and perhaps someone can help you out but yeah this is from this morning's stream we're just going to jump straight into the clips here uh enjoy okay so If he is, well, we could risk the dodge, I guess, but if he's potentially always going to super in slot two, which I actually still don't know 100% that that is the case, but we're going to test it out for science. Um, do this, and if he does, if he supers in slot two again, then it's pretty, uh, pretty clear that that is the case. Good old no dodges from Gotenks in slot one. You'd love to see that. Got the additional though. I died five times trying to do a Rainbow Super Class Saiyan Saga team. Yeah, I think for some of the categories that are a bit more on the wonky side, you probably don't want to be trying to do other ones at the same time. Like Saiyan Saga is probably difficult enough that you probably don't want to try and do like one of each typing and stuff like that at the same time as that one. Um, there are probably other ones that are better to do you know, the, like when you're trying to double up. Yes, he still does 202k to them. So, it seems like he always supers in slot 2. Mm, what's the best AoE team? Um, obviously, Piccolo Jr. is still probably the best like go-to. The STR Piccolo with his easy A, the AoE one. Um, I use uh, Nappa and Vegeta with their easy A. Great Eight Vegeta. Um, because now we can do this. Because hopefully, um, Goku can do a lot of damage here potentially. Nice. 13.4. Come on, Goku. Get the crit as well. There you go. And an additional super. Nice. Well, there you go. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is uh, good for this. <laughs> oh, there you go. After a very shaky first turn. Um, so that will be the two turns mission as well. Um, so yeah, AGL Super Easy A Super Saiyan 3 Goku is very, very good for this. Um... If you can put him on a couple of the different team builds potentially, then that could help you out. Especially any of the ones that you only need like three units of a certain category. You could then obviously, depending on which category it is and how they fit in with other leaders' leader skills, you could throw this Goku on there. But yeah, he basically just uh, handled Broly all by himself. <laughs> so yeah, quite a few missions completed there because we got the... Uh, once we're beating it for the first time, we got the we got four special condition ones done here. So it'll be the one unit of each type for super, three fusion, three super saiyan three, and then we did the three uh, two turns as well. So 
good setup for that one. Uh, let's jump into the next one. All right, so Saiyan Saga. <laughs> this one's going to be interesting. If he's going to super in slot two, I think these guys will be able to, after they get their supers off, hopefully should live it with the type advantage as well. Kid Gohan obviously gets buffs from getting hit, so... Let's see how well we get on here. I'm using Yantra as my lead and Go Gohan and Piccolo as a friend, because I know not everyone has Gohan and Piccolo. Right, they've only been out on one banner on Global, which was... If you think back to the video that I would have made about it, an easy skip. So I imagine a lot of people don't have them. So. The Fusion one, I mean, there's only three characters. So, like, especially with how good some of the Gotenks are. Like we used the Super Saiyan 3, uh, the Super Easy A Tech Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks. Good attack stat from them. No crit though, sadly, and no additional super. How much are they taking from this? Oh, only 130. That's pretty good. <clears throat> and then, yeah, that STR Kaioken Goku has pretty decent crit chance. 110k though. Oof. Unfortunately, though, we don't have to worry because now that we've done that mission. And I wouldn't worry about it for these harder categories ones anyway, but we don't need to worry about doing it in two turns. Alright, so we've got the Revival. Um, hopefully Yamchuk dodges though. Because getting the revival is all well and good, but I want to do damage. So. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure dodging the super, that's what we like to see. Took the normal and took a bit of damage, but he dodged the super, so that's the important part. And he got a crit. Come on, Yamcha. I had Carnival Gogeta die, slot one. I mean, he's not a slot one unit, so that's understandable. Oof. Unfortunately, even if we were to die on this turn, we've got the revival, so it's all good. That's close. Imagine if we don't die this turn, though. <laughs> And we start the next turn with uh, incredibly low HP and no revive. Oh, he's supered again. Okay. Well, we're probably dead now then. Yeah, okay. Well, that's fine. That's why you want to run the Gohan and Piccolo friend. Get that potential revival. So it's always a good way for it to play out, is just take a bunch of damage on the first turn, have these guys on the second turn, and then get that revive. We still managed to do a decent bit of damage on this turn. Yeah, it's the first time we've seen him super twice. This is the second one I'm doing, is the Saiyan Saga one. So. Last few months, they really weren't half bad. You. You'd better not die, go on. Mm -hmm. God, all these attacks. I got the Yajirobe support in slot three. Anyway. See how well he does here. Hey, okay, 44, that's not too bad. Yeah, immediately supered again, though. That's the thing, some of these teams don't have, like, super good slot 1 units, so... Oof. The match just about lived. I 
I mean, it'd be fine if we didn't already know he could super twice, but if Gohan can come in clutch and get the crit on the additional, he might actually just kill him here, but he didn't crit. That difference, though, doing that big damage and then not getting a crit and doing 140 damage. All right, Gohan, come on. We've done two additional supers now with no crit. Let's, let's get a crit here. There you go. All right, there you go. So that was Saiyan Saga. Um, got a bit lucky there with the uh, revive. But yeah, that was quite lucky first try with the Saiyan Saga team. So Saiyan Saga I could see being awkward. Yeah, the Tech Napper and Vegeta are good with the attack lowering. Um, but yeah, Saiyan Saga definitely could be one of the more awkward ones. But... If you have Gohan and Piccolo yourself, I would use them as the leader anyway. Better than Yamcha. And I think they give everyone on the team the full 200%. I think Yamcha doesn't give it to at least one of the people that we're using here. But yeah, there you go. Saiyan Saga. So let's go on to the next one. Alright, so we're using a Boo team. Um, we're not using Int Boo because, again, not everyone's going to have him. So we're using the physical LR Boo takes as the lead. Um, we do have the friend Int Boo. Um... I mean, this rotation should work out quite nicely. Uh, make sure we get Rainbow Wolves so Mr. Boo. And then you just do that. Yeah, Super Boo on this team will be interesting. There's 22 million attacks that. Alright, well, yeah, there you go. So there's Boo. <laughs> there's that one done. Um, yeah, so AGL Super Boo. It's pretty good for this one, eh? <laughs> um, so yeah, that was the uh, three uh, Margin Power characters and three Resurrected Warriors. Because the um, Tech Exchange Boo, uh, Kid Boo, and somebody else was a uh, Resurrected Warrior. And obviously they're all margin power. Um, I've also done it three times now. Um, yeah, so there you go. Margin power and resurrected warriors. That was uh, super difficult. <laughs> all right, so next up we're going to do the six Wicked Bloodline characters. Uh, we're going to do this for the all extreme types as well. Because it's uh, since we have to use a full Wicked Bloodline team and they are all extreme characters anyway. We'll just bring a unit of each typing and then get this done here. Um, he always supers in slot two, doesn't he? So I guess I'll just have to do this. It means no links for this freezer, but he should still be okay. Get a decent bit of key for you. Get these for you. I mean, this team does have the potential to do a lot of damage. So not tech golden freezer, of course, but... Although having both the Golden Freezers on turn one is super awkward because they're the slot one tanks, but you know, it is what it is. Hey, you got an additional and actually did a crit. Let's go. Yeah, cool, they're not the best at taking AoEs, but 48k is not the end of the world. Yeah, SDR LR Cooler was my favourite unit in the game when he first came out. He's so good. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3, uh, Super Easy A Goku. Ridiculously good for this event. Nice crits from Golden Freezer. Yeah, some of this is going to be down to luck. Like, even if you make a decent team build, like if you're struggling with some of the categories. Um, because crits obviously make a huge difference. So... Freezer did lower his attack though as well, which is helpful. But yeah, Cooler has the potential to do a lot of damage here as well, depending on how many supers he does and how many crits he gets. Are we going to get the typical cooler experience where, there you go, I was going to say, where he doesn't do any additional supers. Mm -hmm. 
He attack lowers on his 12 key, which is useful as well. Um, Alright, so I mean, chances are, because he supers immediately in slot 1. So, chances are we just die here, but we get the revival. And if we don't die, then AGL Freezer should do a lot of damage to him. So... Yeah, I can imagine a no zero build-up cooler potentially just dying to this. Yeah. He didn't die, okay. Wait, and he tanks the normals for double-digit damage. That's interesting. It's always so funny seeing a, a character take so much damage from a super attack and then take double-digit damage from normals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing. As long as it's Metal Cooler that dies, he revives. So, even if he gets killed here... Or he just gets crits and kills him. So, 600k on the super slot one. But there you go. That's Wicked Bloodline, and one unit of each typing. Use the Int LR Metal Cooler. We didn't get to see them. They were the Int unit on the team. The new AGL Freezer. We had the AGL Golden Freezer. So, obviously, if you don't have the new Freezer, I know not a lot of people will have necessarily summoned for him as well. But he was the extra AGL unit. If you don't have the LR Golden Freezer, obviously, you can use the AGL TUR one as well. Um, so Wicked Bloodline does have a pretty decent amount of options. So we've got Wicked Bloodline and we've got the All Extreme Types 1 done as well. Okay, so we're going to do the full Realm of Gods team here. <clears throat> we're using the STR UI Goku with his Easy A. I thought that would be an interesting way to do this one. Because um, we should be able to get a decent, like... As long as he actually dodges the, one of the first attacks in slot 1, he gets a decent little bit of build up here. Um, and then Vados with the support, she attack lowers, so, oh, there we go, getting the dodges, yeah, just dropping a 14 million straight away. And we get the crit as well, so that's good. Everyone dodging the AoE. Nice. Obviously, AGL UI Goku is still pretty easy, eh, for Global, but has the links, has type advantage, has crit chance in his super attack effect, so... And, of course, if he gets an additional super, it's a guaranteed crit. So the more crits we get, the better. And we dodge the super, nice. I mean, that's the thing. Get hit by the normals all you want, as long as you're dodging the super. That's perfect. Now, the only thing is, who's going to be on the next rotation? Because I think he's super, he supers in slot one on the second turn pretty regularly. Double super from Fados here is good. Double attack lower. Even though she's not doing damage, that doesn't really matter too much. If she's providing the attack lowering, then that's good. Uh, I guess we could just do this then. Yeah, the in LR God Goku is a decent option as well because he has built in crit chance. So. Nice. Alright. I think we should be good here then because if the blues don't kill him, God Goku should hopefully get the crit and kill him. Obviously, they're not known for their high attack stats, especially in slot one. But... UI Goku not dodging. Okay. There we go. Alright, so God Goku, 8.7. Can we get the crit, though? It's 50% chance to crit. Of course he didn't. Get the additional though. I mean, if this crits, that should be enough. Okay. Well, he lowered attack and he dodged the super, so I suppose there is that. <laughs> That's crazy. Is UI Goku actually going to be able to finish it off here? Probably not without a crit with only a 6 million attack, to be fair. Ah, uh, that's close. 
And we get the additional. We've got loads of additional attacks during this run. From characters that don't have like built-in additionals, so pretty good additional RNG. And then there's the crit, which as you can see does a significant amount of more like more damage. So there you go, that is the uh, six Realm of Gods units. Realm of Gods is a pretty varied category, like there's a few units that you can change out, of course. Um, but yeah, the UI Goku definitely, with his easy A, very solid for this stage. Especially if you're getting those dodges in slot one and getting the uh, extras. So, there you go, that was the Realm of Gods one done. For the six Super Saiyans characters one, we are going to do the full power mission as well, because we have the Super Vegetas on here. Uh, the AGL LR Gohan is a full power character as well. Um, so the great thing about this is, of course, Super Vegeta gets hit first, gets that attack buff. And then, of course, he does guarantee crits. So there's the potential that he just one shots um, Broly here. Because getting hit, yeah, he does 11.2. Maybe that's not enough for the one shot, but... Guaranteed crit. Okay, yeah, it's not not quite enough. I guess we are running double 170 leads with him, but still pretty decent. Super for G just eats all of those. Um, although, yeah, Goku getting supered. He's got type advantage and damage reduction, so yeah, 200k. That's uh, that's better. 15k for you, and double digits for you. Now the only thing is, on the second turn, Broly does super attack in slot one very often, which means Super Vegeta. It's not really ideal for being in slot one on the next turn. Crit from you is good. We've also not got particularly high HP here either, which is not great. Uh, although you're going to get hit by the AoE, so you're then going to get your buff. So I wonder if doing this... Because we started to turn on lower HP, which means that that Super Vegeta does have more damage reduction. And he's built for full dodge, so he dodged the Super. Okay, nice. <laughs> 122k. Right. Super Vegeta could really do with an additional super here. Let's go. <laughs> we literally win because he did that. Otherwise, Goku and Gohan are taking extra supers in, or extra AoEs in slot 3 and dying. But Super Vegeta with the KO screen. I mean, there's an easier way to do this, I'm sure. Like, I'm trying not to use all of the best units. So, like, if you have the in LR Super Saiyan trio, you only need to have three full power characters on the team. Obviously, if you have the Tech Vegeta from Saiyan Day, like, both of those are better leaders. But having the uh, Super Vegeta there for the guaranteed crit is definitely very, very helpful for that run. Um, and then, yeah, of course, in situations like that where he's actually getting the additional super, he does a lot of damage. So... We've only got one last one left to do now, which is Androids, so we'll jump straight into that one. Alright, so last but not least, we have the uh, three Androids one. Obviously, this one, as it only requires three characters, you can build all sorts of different teams. You don't need to have a full Android setup. Um, there's a whole bunch of different things you could do. Uh, Gamma 2, I'm pretty sure this Broly's key uh, super attack counts as a key blast super. So... If that is the case, it means Gamma 2 in the middle should not take any damage. Um, and then, yeah, for the other rotation, we have Gamma 1 and Gamma 2 together, which obviously that combo with all the links. I'm running double Gamma 2 leads because when it comes to the different Android leaders that you can use, 
Um, Gamma 2 is probably one of the harder hitting of those characters. So if you're running double leads of him, then you have two of them on the team. He also has built in crit chance that builds up. So he has the potential to do a lot of damage. Uh, the Cell Juniors lower attack on their super. So that's helpful here as well. And obviously because we have a full artificial life forms team and they've got a like their full passive buff active basically and then yeah in lr cell still able to do fairly capable damage so obviously on this rotation it's not the best setup for gamma 2 but should still be able to do some good damage here yeah see even without getting the crit does some okay damage but he builds up crit chance as he goes so of course the additional normal we got a crit but yeah there you go broly's super attack is a key blast so very good so yeah next turn we can just put gamma 2 in slot 1 gamma 1 in slot 2 and then they probably should be GG. Cell lowering attack as well. Yeah. Like I say, the only any of the missions that only require you to use three characters, you obviously don't have to use a full category team. And those ones are a lot easier to mix and match the various different missions all into one run. You do still need to do like 10 runs in total though to do everything, so... Whilst it's easy to get some of the missions done, you're not like, you've still got these other ones that you need to finish. But I think the best thing about that is you can then just use whichever team you found the easiest while doing those missions. And then just use that one to like blitz through. Like obviously we did the, the Boo Saga one, having like Super Boo in slot one. You could just make a Boo Saga team and have Super Boo, have Super Saiyan 3, Super Easy A Goku the Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku if you got him from Golden Week. Like, that team would probably just one-turn Broly, like, every time. And then that will help you get those last couple of clears just to get the beat the stage, like, ten times mission done. Uh, but there you go. Gamma 2, as expected. Big damage. Easily carries the androids run there. Is a, basically immune to Broly's super attack. So, definitely a go-to character for um, doing the androids mission. So, yeah, there you go. That is going to be the final run here. That is the last of the missions, aside from just completing it a certain number of times. Um, I mean, yeah, if you have the full Martian Power team, like if you have the Int Boo yourself and stuff like that, um, like those easier ones you probably can just do fully on auto. But there you go. The last one, the three Android ones. Um, we did, we've, still, we've done it seven times in order to do all of those missions. So we just have to beat it three more times and then that finishes all the missions. So, I mean, realistically, that Android's one was so easy. I'll probably just replay that and auto it. But there you go. So that's how to beat all the missions on this. Get a decent few stones, a few Kai's, a couple of Link skill orbs as well. Let me know how you guys got on. If there was any that you struggled with, any that you found really easy. Let us know your team builds for the ones that you found a bit trickier um, and maybe help some other people out in the comments. But yeah, let me know all your thoughts on this down below. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.